Hello again. Some districts along the lower Volta Basin are demanding a percentage of revenue from the Akonsumbo and Bon dams to be allocated for development in the area. They are also suggesting a periodic dredging of the Volta Lake to rid it of invasive aquatic weeds resulting in waterborne diseases infestation. The people of the lower Volta Basin complained of being marginalized. They argued people from the northern belt were enjoying social interventions like SADA. They also noted wards of cocoa farmers within forest areas are benefiting from scholarship schemes adding traditional rulers in the western region also enjoy 10% from the oil revenue. According to them, since the construction of the Akosumba Dam in 1965 and the Pond Dam in 1981, the expectations of the people living along the lower basin have withered away to that of disappointment, rejection and despondency. We are using our power to mine gold in Ashanti. We are using our power to do so many things in other regions. Part of that money the royalties that are paid or whatever it is, part of it must come to the poorer regions. We shouldn't say because cocoa is not here, we shouldn't say because gold is not here, and therefore we shouldn't benefit from that. Everybody in this country is now enjoying electricity, and we have suffered the crunch of these two dams. They lamented about waterborne disease infestations in the area as a result of invasive aquatic weeds, which had again gathered at the base of the bridge, making river transportation difficult. A situation which is impacting negatively on business in the area. We've been able to get in touch with the VRA uh, to bring some machines and see whether we can harvest this, uh, the weeds. But they've not been able to harvest up to a kilometer. You know, the last time I visited there a week or no, 10 days ago, I noticed they had just done around 700 meters within six weeks. And so at the, the pace at which it's going, it will take close to 10 years to be able to clear, clear the wheat from that end right down to the estuary. They are asking Parliament to adopt a proposal for a lower basin restoration and development fund. If the fund is established, then the Volta River will chip in Whatever money they will be using on the impacted communities, they could put in that money. Government itself will put in something. And then NGOs or whatever, any source that will get money, will put it in. We establish a board to manage the fund. Education for children in the impacted communities could come out of it. They insist they will not rest until this demand is attended to.